Hey there, Steelers Nation. It's your dedicated source for all things black and gold, bringing you the latest updates straight from the heart of Pittsburgh. As our team gears up for another thrilling season, we're constantly striving to refine our roster and bring home those WS. So, if you're loving the Steelers content, don't forget to show some love by smashing that like button and hitting subscribe for more exclusive updates. Now, let's dive into the hot topic of the moment, Brandon Ayuk. The rumors swirling around a potential trade for this dynamic wide receiver from the San Francisco 49ers have sent shockwaves through the NFL community. And guess what? We've got some juicy new intel that's shedding light on the situation. During a recent appearance on The Pat McAfee Show, NFL insider Ian Rappaport dropped some major insights into the Ayuk saga, giving Steelers fans a clearer picture of where things stand. Rappaport, known for his insider knowledge and impeccable track record, revealed that the 49ers are indeed eyeing a first-round pick for Ayuk. However, the uncertainty looms large over their ability to secure a long-term extension for him. But here's the kicker, Rappaport emphasized that the wide receiver market is starting to take shape, with teams hesitating to part ways with a first-round pick for Ayuk. And let's talk numbers for a moment. Acquiring Ayuk could come with a hefty price tag, potentially upwards of $25 million annually for the Steelers. Now, that's no small chunk of change. As we've seen this offseason, Steelers' GM Omar Khan isn't afraid to break the mold and shake things up. From surprising draft picks to bold roster moves, Khan has kept us on the edge of our seats. And as the draft day approaches, Steelers' faithful are eagerly anticipating the possibility of a trade for Ayuk or another top-tier wide receiver, remaining vigilant and hopeful for what's to come. So, what's your take on the Ayuk situation, Steelers Nation? Are you ready to see us make a splash in the trade market, or do you think we should stick to our guns and focus on the draft? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exclusive Steelers coverage. Until next time, stay true to the black and gold.